Hello and welcome to the video. Today we'll be talking about the 10 things Gorilla Tag should add into the game. Coming in in number 10. Do you want a beard? Do you want a crown? Perhaps even both. Well, I guess you can't. But wouldn't it be wouldn't it be cool having accessories on at the same time? See, since Gorilla Tag began, we only had a few accessories, a few hats, and they're on that shelf over there now, which you can just buy for like seven pounds, or I don't know, ten dollars. We can get out more. But anyways, nonetheless, don't you wish you could wear two accessories at the same time? I mean, I wanted my bow tie and these things. Unfortunately, no. No. Number nine. Ranking. Don't you wish you ever got to see how you compare to other monkeys? You can't really tell where you are at because you're a bit biased to yourself. Let's be honest, everyone is. We always think we're better than what we are. But still, nonetheless, do you want to see if you're a competitive player, a regular player? Do you not know which lobby to play in? Where to, what to call yourself? Well, me too. I deeply wish that. I'm crying right now. But wouldn't it be cool if we had a ranking system? From noob to notifist to average to competitive to professional. Those those five rankings. That'd be cool if we got to see. And and they could be decided by how long you survive in a match or how many tags you get in a match as a lover monkey at the start. Those should be the two things determining where you are at. Coming in at number eight. Gorilla Tag Law. Have you ever wondered why we're monkeys? Why we have a city here? Why, what's the story behind us? I mean, sure, we're just people playing VR, but what's the meaning behind it? You know, this kind of reminds me of my favorite YouTuber as a kid, Matt Pat. Why, why, why does, why doesn't someone like him cover a story in this? But there's a thing, I made, I made my own story, and I'm going to be posting it after this video. So, if you want to see it, subscribe and hit the notification. And sitting on the place of number seven is competition. And I mean, yeah, sure, we got competitive lobbies, but let's be honest, what competition are those? We should have some sort of, you know, esports thing where we, where people, you know, gather and do sport together, like a massive sport session. Kind of like um, where you get a trophy on the end, maybe your own custom. Uh, I think I don't know. I've heard rumors of this happening, but uh, if it's not, why not add it? I mean, let me if you're watching, please feel free to add any of those. Also, even though some of these may not be good, I'm sure the first and the second one everyone will agree with. They should be added. Anyways, number six. So you know how there's this board with three options: casual, infection, and hunt. Why isn't there like a little underground bit? to the tree stump where you can choose mini games. Maybe maybe like a mini game option where it teleports you to a certain area dedicated for that mini game and it's kind of like built for the game. Like there's boundaries in what you can do and what you can't do. It's hard to explain, but basically imagine this. You choose you choose monkey on the shelf, which is right over there. Yeah? Well, over there. And in this area. You cannot leave this area, and basically, when you touch the floor, you instantly become lava. It's like a pre-built version of the game mode. If people don't like it, they can just play the regular one. But sure, the built-in one must be fun. Much more easier to control the people, because you know how playing lava or monkey on the shelf is. It's bloody painful sometimes. Five-year-olds messing up everything. Anyways. Number five. Now, I think everyone agrees with me that toxic players are the worst. They are the thing, they are the most threatening thing to this community, other than hackers, because, you know, toxic players are terrible sometimes. They're annoying, and they just make you don't want to play the game anymore. And, yeah, I agree with the fact that you can report them and get them banned, but maybe there's a different solution. It's not, it's not just satisfying enough to know they can't play the game for a day or two. Maybe if we just, you know, send them into toxic lobbies. For at least a week. Lobbies where other players who are toxic get sent to. If there's no one in the toxic lobbies, then they're, they're by themselves. But if there's two toxic players, yeah? They join those to two toxic players. And there's different lobbies like that, yeah? Pretty much where people 
They, they, they should, they should get a taste of their own medicine. And coming in at number four, a friend request system. A profile system as well may be included. I don't know what to call this. There's a few elements to it. Pretty much, each gorilla is there. They can change their name, change their color, but there is no specific profile to them, other than their oculus. You can't add gorillas on, on, there's no menu to add other gorillas, so you have to find a specific code to join your friend. But some people don't want to go through the effort of finding someone else's o oculus account, or typing in a specific code. There should be kind of like a menu, you know, a menu where you can join your friends, join the code instantaneously, add them as friends, and it would make it even easier to report players and find out hackers, because then, as soon as, even if they leave, someone might have their profile saved, and they can report them after. Coming in at number three, do you ever wish that in the game you're playing, yeah, you, have, you, you got stuff for what you did. Let's say you managed to stay on the walls for five minutes. Or, well, maybe not five minutes, but let's say you survive around for longer than five minutes, being the last monkey. Then maybe you should get some points for it. But sure, maybe not shiny rocks, but there should be another currency system. Kind of where you can buy hats for how good you do. This also interlaps with the number 10 I made, about hats. Why can't, we, why can't we have more hats? Especially maybe the crown idea. The crowns are for like how well you do. Like if you do specific tasks. Let's say you tag a lot of monkeys. For each tag you get 10 points. Of course by something small you'd need about 10,000 but still. You'd, you'd get something for that amount of tag you do. The amount of effort. <coughs> Coming in at number 2. In-game custom maps. Wouldn't you love it if you had the entire first map to yourself, where you could remove trees, add trees, remove benches, and that, that area is specific to you. Of course, you'd need the profile system to figure out monkeys, which ones they belong to, and add a few more computer options, and it's going to be difficult for Lemming to add this if you wanted to. But still, it's not a bad idea. Imagine you just wanted to make your own game mode with your friends, yeah? Or a perfect practice map, a very hard map to finish, a parkour map perhaps. And it can get more popular over time, maybe there should be a like system to it. But nonetheless, in-game custom maps should be a must in my opinion. Coming in at number one, the most vital thing we need, the most important, matchmaking. Like I swear I can't last another minute if that isn't added in the game. I swear. I'm tired of playing games where there's players too bad for me or way above my level and I play in competitive and there's both. There's always really bad players who think they're good and there's really good players who think they're bad but still play competitive. They're, that's just how it is. Then there's really good players who know they're good and just duke on everyone. But still, we need that in the game. Without that, that game is just, you know, the game is just gonna fall apart slowly. People are gonna leave the original players because the new players aren't good enough for them and they have nothing better to do. Sure, there's mini games in it, but then they, what's the point of playing if you're just gonna win every time? Yeah, sure, it's fun to win, but if that happens every round, it's not really fun, is it? Anyways, that's it for today. This was maybe kind of a short video. I'm making a bigger video next on Gorilla Tag's Law videos. Subscribe while I'll eat your all your cookies.